ThreadUp is an online consignment store that offers secondhand clothing at extremely discounted prices. Over the past few years, countless YouTubers have received ThreadUp sponsorships, whether their usual content revolves around fashion or not. But as with any sponsorship, we viewers are left wondering, is this actually legit? Can I find decently priced clothing on ThreadUp? Will it actually be good quality? Well today, I, a regular, unsponsored YouTube viewer, will give you my honest thoughts on ThreadUp. Hey, I wanted to do like a dramatic video essay style intro. Uh, I hope it wasn't too corny. My name is Becca and I don't really do fashion content, but I have, I, I watch a lot of YouTube. <laughs> so I was not inspired to do this review because of the fashion element. It's more because I see so many people getting sponsored by ThreadUp and I tried it out and I have some thoughts and I wanna share them with you guys. Clearly, I'm, I'm not sponsored by them because 800 subscribers, like they, that's not happening. Before I get into the review, I have a couple disclaimers that I wanna mention. First of all, I love and respect all the creators that I've mentioned who have been sponsored by ThreadUp. If I put a clip of someone in this video, it's probably because I'm subscribed to that person and I like their content. So I'm not trying to put anyone on blast for getting a sponsorship and paying the bills, but when you're sponsored by a company, you kind of have a totally different experience. They want you to have a good time using the product, so they may give you certain perks that a regular customer wouldn't get. Molly Burke actually has a really good video where she does an unsponsored review of Savage X Fenty, and towards the end, she kind of goes into the details of certain things that she's experienced getting sponsored by different brands. They send you the product and they can even send you product at times that is sold out. They can send you sample products. They can send you stuff that nobody else can get. And how just because a YouTuber is sponsored by someone, it doesn't necessarily mean they're lying about liking the product. They're just probably gonna like the product more because they're kind of getting a VIP experience. Certain things that I didn't like, may have been resolved more easily for someone who was getting a sponsorship. The other thing about these YouTubers is uh, they have more money than me. <laughs> for them, getting a $150 top for $100 is a good deal. For me, any article of clothing that costs $100 is not a good deal. <laughs> I mean, maybe like a good coat or I guess my wedding dress. I spent more than $100 on my wedding dress, but like, <laughs> That's it. Anyway, my point is that when I watch these people talk about how much money they saved on all these really nice brands by using ThreadUp, all I can think is, oh, that's nice, but can I find like old navy clothes for Ross prices? <laughs> so that's kind of the budget <laughs> that we're working with. There's not gonna be anything from like Bloomingdale's or I don't know, like Nordstrom or I, I don't know, expensive stores. <laughs> What I'm trying to say is that my goal here is to provide a more realistic thread up haul for the average middle class viewer. Okay, now that I've been through my disclaimers, let's just get right into it. So I have a stack of everything that I got from my first order on ThreadUp. This was September 23rd, 2020, and I ordered seven items. And I'm just gonna go in the order that they are uh, stacked on my floor. So the first thing I have right here on top is this spaghetti strap, kind of summery top. I haven't worn this yet because it's been too cold. However, I tried it on and I like the way it fits. And this is from Lush. Lush? I thought Lush did like bath bombs, I'm confused. But according to ThreadUp, it retails for, that's what they always say in the sponsored videos, right? It retails for $14.99 and I got it for $8.99 which, you know, like that's a pretty cheap shirt. Like that that's Ross prices right there. It's a good quality shirt. Like it's thin, like it's gonna keep me cool in the summer, but it doesn't feel like I could just freaking tear it. Like it is a sturdy fabric. I like the print. The way it fits is nice. Although I feel like I'm gonna want to wear like a bralette or something under it because it's a little loose fitting and I don't wanna just be like, here's my bra. So I would wanna wear like something cute or an extra tank top or something under it or like a cardigan over it. I feel like it has a lot of potential to layer with other things, have things layered on top of it and it's good quality and I got it for a good price. So this first item I think was a win. Okay, the next thing is this flowery, flowery, I'm not a fashion person. It's a flowery blouse. If you watched my 2020 favorites video, this was actually one of my favorite things from this year. So, I mean, spoiler alert, I like this item. 
says so the estimated retail price is 36 and I got it for $15.99. So basically like, like more than half off. The brand is Apartment 9. I've heard of Apartment 9. Yeah, what is Apartment 9? Are they a store? Okay, upon further research, Apartment 9 is not like a store or anything, but they're just like a brand that you can find at Kohl's and I guess like maybe JCPenney, like that sort of store. So I mean, $15.99 for a shirt that I could get at Kohl's. That sounds about right. It's sturdy. It's like kind of stiff and structured, which I like because I wear it to work and it feels like a nice blouse. Whereas like, for example, this would be more something that I would wear for like more everyday style. It's a nice work shirt material. It fits me well. If anything, it's like a little bit big in the shoulders. Although looking at the way it fits the mannequin now, I think that's just the way it's supposed to fit. Like these seams are supposed to kind of be in front of your shoulders, which is weird to me. And I always end up pulling it back. But honestly, even though it fits a little bit weirdly, I just think it's so cute. It's so my style. And I, I, I love this item. I normally wear this to work. I'll either tuck it into like a nicer pair of jeans and wear some cute flats, or sometimes I'll even dress it up with some dress pants. But you know, I'm a teacher. I don't have to dress super duper fancy when I'm at work. Okay, let's get critical, critical. Um, this shirt is okay. I wear it, but I definitely have some critiques. This is a long sleeve flowy blouse with like birds on it and it's sheer it has this like ruching i think is the word it has ruching uh around the neckline and a button in the front i thought that this might have been the back but the tag is back here i tried it on both ways it looks fine both ways except for the fact that you know the tag is here and because it's sheer if you wear it this way it's like oh that's on backwards <laughs> so this is from banana republic i cannot believe this is from banana republic like i thought banana republic was like a more expensive store okay yeah banana republic is like kind of expensive in my book i mean i know they're not like a luxury brand or anything but like they're out of my price range normally and i am so disappointed <laughs> in the quality of this. The original price, holy cow, are you kidding me? The original price of this is $60 according to ThreadUp. And I got it for $16.99, thank goodness. If someone spent $60 on this, I'm so sorry. The quality is not good. So this shirt that I was talking about earlier, right? This is a nice thin material, but it feels sturdy. This one is like, it's thin and I know it's sheer, like that's what they're going for, but it's kind of like a scratchy material. The sleeves hit me in a weird spot, like right here on my arm, where it looks weird when they're here. But if I pull them up to my elbows, they just keep falling down. The elastic isn't elastic-y enough. It also has the problem that this shirt has, where I keep having to pull it up a little bit. The other one, I love the design so much that I don't care, but this one, it's like when it's itchy and I have this problem and I have this problem all together, it's annoying. When I wear this shirt, there are just so many different, like negative sensory elements to, to bother me. I normally wear this shirt with a tank top under, whether it's a lighter colored tank top or a darker one. And I tuck that into some dark jeans. And then on the bottom, I have some tan flats. It's a cute shirt, but it feels cheap. I genuinely feel like if I wanted to, I could just tear this shirt. I still wear it. It fits me well enough. But um, yeah, I was just, I was pretty disappointed with this one. And I can't entirely blame ThreadUp for this. It could just be Banana Republic has bad materials, or maybe this shirt specifically was a bad material. I don't know, but wow, I cannot believe that someone would pay $60 for this. Ugh. Okay, up next we have Old Navy. I mentioned Old Navy. I said, can I get an Old Navy shirt for Ross prices? And I did. I got this Old Navy brand spaghetti strap. It's got like string straps. I don't know what you call that. But the tie in the back, just a cute little patterned flowy blouse. Like I said, this is from Old Navy and the original price was $27. I got it for $13.99. And I'm loving this shirt. I actually got this shirt to kind of replace another shirt that I had. So I had this shirt that was white with blue elephants on it, and I loved to wear it when I was teaching. But I feel like it shrank in the wash, or maybe I just grew a little bit, but like it already fit me perfectly. 
So whenever it or I changed size, it went from being perfect to being just like annoyingly tight. And the other thing that made me so sad about that shirt was because I, I loved the pattern, but the material was again, that kind of stiffer material that feels like something you would wear to teach or work in. And I really wanted something with a similar pattern that I could just wear in my everyday life. This is great because this one's rayon. I don't really know what rayon is, but it's like a stretchier material. But I think that it can also double as a fairly professional shirt. I will pair this with a blue cardigan and either some dress pants or maybe even like dark jeans. If I dress it up, I feel perfectly comfortable and confident wearing this to teach, but I could also easily wear this just by itself or with a more relaxed style cardigan and go out and not feel like I'm overdressed. It's comfortable, it fits me perfectly. I normally shop at Old Navy for my basics, you know, a basic black V-neck, a white tank top, you know, those sorts of things. And they last a long time. Old Navy clothes, they hold up. And I'm happy that this is gonna hold up for me and hopefully last me a long time, but I only had to spend $13 on it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I looked at the next item and this is the one, this is literally why I'm making this video. So buckle up. Okay, these are pants. Um, <laughs> there are so many problems with these pants. Basically, I needed some black dress pants. And one thing that I'll talk a little bit about more later is that I, I love how on ThreadUp you can really specifically tailor your search. So I was searching specifically for dress pants that were plain black under a certain price range. So I ordered these. It says they are unbranded. Okay, originally $48, they were marked down to $16.99 and then marked down again to $11.99. So I got them for $11.99 and okay, two problems with these pants. First off, they don't fit. And I think that's partially my fault. It says it has a 30 inch waist and I'm like a 32. But then if you scroll down, it also says 32 inch waist. So I guess I decided, okay, maybe it'll be a little bit small, but like it says it's 32 here. So I don't know. These pants have no stretch to them either. Like it's possible that if they were a little stretchy, it would have been fine. But that's not even the weirdest problem. The biggest problem here is that these are green. <laughs> it's really annoying <laughs> because I literally searched specifically for black pants. It's not like I just saw these and went, those look like nice black pants. They were specifically filtered as black pants, even though they're dark green. So I was just, I was so disappointed to find out that these were green. And I wanted to return them because there was a problem that was literally not my fault. I was like, surely if I return these quickly enough, I can get my money back or at least get like some, some thread up credits or something to spend. But if you want to return something, you have to pay for the shipping, which, you know, whatever. You can have your procedures for, for returns and stuff. But if you want to return one item, that's a little excessive. I spent $12 on these pants. I don't want to spend $12 to send them back. So unfortunately, I've just been holding on to them and I'll probably donate them because that's literally cheaper than sending them back. But yeah, I, I guess in terms of the quality, like they're, they're a good quality pants. So yeah, I guess I would say if you're shopping on ThreadUp, avoid anything that says unbranded. Even though it's good quality, there are definitely other problems with it. This is a good pair of pants for someone, but the online description was not accurate. There's a sale on black pants. Hurry before they're all green. Another meh, uh, during my quest to find new dress pants, I also picked a pair of bluish ones. These are stretchier. They're a little bit loose fitting for me, but they do fit my legs perfectly. They're meant to be the ones that end like right above your ankles, but because I'm short, they fit me like almost exactly where my ankles are. These are from Gap and their original retail price was $45. It got marked down to $13.99 and then marked down again to $10.99. So I got a pretty good deal on these. That being said, like I mentioned, they are a little bit big. These also say they have a 30 inch waist and these are too big for me. And I feel like this is just a problem with online shopping in general is like the sizes are never gonna be reflected perfectly. But it's nice that if I'm shopping at a certain store online, I can start to learn, okay, this brand runs a little bit big or this brand runs a little bit small. With ThreadUp, because there are so many different brands, it doesn't seem like they're measuring things consistently. Somehow, 
Everyone at ThreadUp agreed that both of these were 30 inches. There's two extra inches on the Gap pants. So that's a little disappointing, but they still fit. You know, because they're stretchy, they fit tightly enough in other areas that just because the waist is a little bit big, they're not like falling down or anything. So I don't really have to wear a belt with them or anything. They're very comfortable and they do feel like a high quality material, but you know, they're they're good quality. It's It's Gap clothes, you know, pretty middle of the road. And lastly, the piece de resistance is this purse that I got. I've been needing a new teacher bag for at least a year. Back when I was in grad school, I bought this big purse to basically double as my teacher bag, but it was super cheap. I got it for like $20 at Aldi. And I really liked that purse. It got the job done. However, after, I don't even think an entire year of using it, the zipper on the top broke. So I wanted something that was gonna be a little bit sturdier. And I was like, okay, well, I'm already shopping on ThreadUp. I wasn't really planning on shopping for purses online, but I was like, I'll check it out. And uh, I wound up picking this one. I feel like it's a good, like teachery style purse. You know what I mean? It's not like, to me, it doesn't, Etienne Agner is gonna be so offended, but um, to me, it's not very high fashion. It looks like a teacher bag. Sorry, I thought this was a good compromise. It was, my last purse was just like plain black fake leather and I felt like it was a little too businesswoman for my everyday style. Whereas this is more casual looking. It is Etienne Agner brand. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It was originally $395 and got marked down to $74.99 and then marked down again to $52.99, which 50 was about what I wanted to spend on a purse. So um, this is a $400 purse and I got it for 50 bucks. The thing is I don't care that it was originally a really nice brand, originally $400. I just wanted a purse that was $50 and was gonna have a lot of pockets. And it has that, it has outside pocket here with some pockets inside, like a place to clip your keys. It's got this my on this side, on this side, on this side, on this side, It's got the perfect amount of storage for a teacher, in my opinion. It's very nice quality. I really think this is gonna last me a long time, which I love. This is probably my proudest and most frequently used purchase from ThreadUp. So that was my last item, but before I get to the overall score, there are a couple of general observations that I wanna talk about. For good things, I really like that ThreadUp is eco-friendly. You know, you're buying things secondhand, so that alone is eco-friendly. But also, I like that I can afford to buy clothes that aren't like $5 tops. I don't wanna get into a whole conversation about like social class and stuff, but to keep it brief, I don't spend a lot of money on clothes. And because of that, sometimes my clothes get little holes in them or they start fading probably faster than a, a more quality piece of clothing would. So I love going thrift shopping because the clothes that you get are normally a higher quality. And this is true with all thrift shops, but I like that it keeps clothes out of the landfill, but it also helps people who might otherwise buy cheaper clothing buy things that are more quality and are going to last a longer time. The other thing that I really liked about ThreadUp is that you can sort by so many features. You can select your sizes, you can pick which brands you want to look for, you can select by color, price range, condition, material, just so many different things. And that makes the whole thrift shopping experience a little bit easier. Some people get overwhelmed because when you are thrift shopping, there are just so many options. I like being able to see a bunch of like kind of unexpected things and find like the diamonds in the rough. But I like that I was also able to say, well, I do need black dress pants and search specifically for black dress pants. Were the dress pants that I got black? No, <laughs> but I thought the search feature was good. So I guess, mm, the search feature is good, but they need to make sure that everything is tagged properly. As for the negatives, I think it's weird that every single item that I clicked said it was shipping from my local warehouse. I feel like they say that to make you think that you're like saving on shipping and saving the environment because it only has to be shipped a few miles, but there's no way that all seven of these things are coming from my local warehouse. Like I. I am skeptical of that. I feel like maybe it's shipping from somewhere else first and then to my local warehouse and then to me, like that I believe. Because if these were all coming from my local warehouse, why did I receive them in four different shipments? Like, 
make it make sense. <laughs> Another con is that I, I've heard that it's hard to sell on there. For me personally, I'm not planning on selling things. So that's not a big deal for me, but it's something to keep in mind. One of the biggest cons that I saw a lot of people talking about on, on Reddit and stuff is that it can be hard to sell on there. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would suggest a quick Google about selling things on ThreadUp. I've heard that they can be pretty picky. Something else that doesn't apply to me, but you might be interested in it, is that I, I've heard that there have been some instances of dupes. Like for example, I, for all I know, this is not a real Etienne Agner purse. Again, I don't care. It's high quality. It's going to last me a long time. I don't care if the brand name on there is real or not. But some people do care about that. And uh, yeah, if you want to get your, you know, Gucci belt for only $200 or whatever would be cheap for a Gucci belt, like that might not actually be an authentic Gucci belt. That's also something to keep in mind if you are one of the people who's interested in the idea of using ThreadUp to get luxury brands for a cheaper price. Okay, last order of business is to give ThreadUp an overall ranking. I would actually like to make this like a regular series where I review common sponsored products that people see on YouTube. So I have created a scale for giving five stars to various products, but I don't want to just say, oh, you get this many stars. Each star represents something. I'm a teacher. I need to kind of explain my grading rubric. So our first star is for ease of use and ThreadUp gets a full star. You get a full star for ease of use because your website it's just so, so well organized. I love that you can sort by so many different features. I like that the sizings are listed in terms of the different measurements and they're, they're easy to find. Shipping goes fast and I like that I can still thrift shop during a pandemic and not have to like leave the house. <laughs> the next star is for customer service and I'm gonna give them half a star for customer service. For me, a big part of customer service is like, do you send me a lot of annoying emails? And ThreadUp passes on that criterion. Um, they don't send annoying emails. Since I've ordered for them, I literally have gotten five emails from ThreadUp. So they're not over the top, they're not annoying. However, I wish that it were easier to return clothes that don't fit or are literally not the color that I ordered. I feel like if there's a mistake that wasn't my fault, I should be able to return things for free. Again, I get that, you know, everyone has their policies, so I don't want to fault them too much, but I feel like that aspect could be a little bit better. Okay, up next, price. Is the price reasonable? Yes, one full star. I got seven items of clothing, one of which was a really nice purse for like less than $100. So yeah, they definitely knocked it out of the ballpark with the price element. Quality, I would give them half a star, partially because the quality of some of the clothing that I got didn't meet my expectations, but also because of the quality of the overall experience. A quality website should describe dark green pants as dark green and should give measurements that are accurate to what you're receiving. In that regard, the uh, experience was a little bit subpar in terms of the quality. That being said, most of the clothing and uh, the purse that I got are very high quality. So I don't want to take away a full star, but I will say half a star for quality. And lastly, we have the accuracy star. Am I getting what's been advertised to me? I would say yes. With ThreadUp, they're advertising higher quality clothing for a cheaper price and an online thrift shop experience and I feel like that's definitely what I got. I was able to get kind of similar quality clothing that I would normally get when I go thrift shopping. And I even was able to get something that was an extremely nice brand apparently for a pretty cheap price. So I would say, yeah, I definitely got what's been advertised to me through the various sponsorships that I've seen. So altogether, ThirdUp gets four out of five stars. It's not perfect, but overall I enjoyed my experience and I'll probably shop there again. But I'm not the only person with an opinion, so please let me know about your experiences with ThirdUp in the comments. Also let me know which other hot YouTube sponsorship products I should try out next. Like I said, I really do wanna make a series out of this, so any ideas that you guys have will be greatly appreciated. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I put videos out every other Friday about music, media, linguistics, and whatever else is on my mind that week. Thanks so much for watching. See ya.